can be quite limited. The only tasks it reliably handles are starting timers and checking the weather, and even those requests fail sometimes. I'm sure you too wish it was a bit smarter. How much smarter? Well, I've managed to integrate Siri with an LLM so that it can now answer any question, really. Let me show you three quick examples. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. My vegetarian friend is coming over for dinner. What can I cook from carrots, potato, eggs, avocado? Okay, I found this on the web for my vegetarian friend is coming over for you have plenty of options. You could make a vegetable stir-fry with carrots, potatoes, and avocado, or a colorful salad with boiled eggs and sliced avocado on top. Another idea is a hearty vegetable soup with carrots and potatoes as the base, served with a side of avocado toast. Hey, mm -hmm. Do you have a suggestion for a birthday present for a person who loves dogs, cooking, and hiking? Here's what I found. How about a personalized dog-themed apron for cooking adventures, paired with a gift card to a pet-friendly hiking trail or a dog-friendly restaurant? It combines their passions for dogs, cooking, and hiking all in one thoughtful gift. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm here on Trafalgar Square, London. I have four more hours to spend exploring. What do you recommend? I love food and art. Okay. I found this on the web for I'm here on Trafalgar Square, London. I have four more hours. Trafalgar Square is a fantastic spot. Since you love food and art, I'd suggest visiting the National Gallery nearby to immerse yourself in incredible artwork. For food, explore the area around Covent Garden for a variety of dining options, from street food stalls to elegant restaurants. You can also check out the nearby Neil's Yard for some unique culinary experiences. Enjoy your exploration. In all three cases, Siri simply searched Google, but with the LLM integration, it consistently delivered perfect personalized answers. Let me show you how to set it up. It will take just five minutes. First, you need to download the ChatGPT app from the App Store. If you don't already have an account, register for one and then log in. Next, head over to the Shortcuts app and create a new shortcut by clicking on the plus button. Let's name the shortcut, I have a question. This way, when you say, hey, I have a question, it will automatically open and run this specific shortcut. When the shortcut is running, we first need to prompt for the user's question. The prompt will be, how can I help? Finally, we search for the Ask ChatGPT action, Then ensure that the input for that action is the provided input from the user, which is the question they are asking. And that's it. From now on, you can just tell Siri you have a question, ask anything, and it will come back with a rich and personalized answer every time. Hey, uh -huh. I have a question. How can I help? What can I do if it's raining outside? There are plenty of things you can do indoors when it's raining outside. You could read a book, watch a movie, bake something delicious, do a puzzle, or even try out a new hobby or craft. 